Dear supporters, I am reaching out to ask you for your help in taking Watch ACTV to the next level. With your generous donation to our GoFundMe campaign, we can make the crucial switch to a new platform that offers incredible benefits to both our network and our viewers. Firstly, the new platform allows for easy subscription via credit card and PayPal, making it accessible to viewers in international markets who were previously unable to join us. Additionally, we will be introducing a live component that will revolutionize how subscribers are able to engage with our content. Moreover, the new platform provides powerful marketing tools built right in, enabling us to reach a wider audience and to grow our community. And with this emphasis on community engagement, we'll be able to foster deeper connections with our viewers. A Connection TV. And to make this transition possible, we need to raise $6,000. Your donation will not only facilitate the platform switch, but will also offer a soft rebrand for our company, ensuring that Watch ACTV continues to evolve and thrive. Please consider contributing to our campaign and be a part of our journey towards a brighter future for Watch ACTV. Thank you for all of your support throughout the years, your comments, your tweets, your shares. They all mean the world to us here at Watch ACTV. Thanks again. Oh, by the way, um, yeah, I need your help. If you are able to like, you know, help a brother out with, you know, switching platforms to a better platform to run this indie company platform, this like indie Netflix, that would be amazing. I have a GoFundMe right now. We've already raised over $600 for the GoFundMe. If you have it in your heart, if you have it in your heart to support, that would be like so amazing because I, I really need your help. Like that would be so awesome. So if you can donate, go to gofundme.com forward slash ACTV plus to donate any amount of money that you donate would be amazing. $25, $30, $40. Everyone so far has donated like a hundred bucks. So that would be amazing. But oh my God, it would be like so killer if you could help us out because Doing YouTube, um, doing my company, like the online streaming platform, all this stuff, it doesn't really bring in enough to really solidify and make things work. And I'm trying to really work hard to getting you guys some like good content, like, you know, good scripted content. And I want to go into the reality TV space as well, but you need the funds to do so. So yeah, it would be amazing if you guys can help out and, you know, donate to the GoFundMe. Love you guys. Do this. What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place in the World Wide Web where we actually adopt some other connections about our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social media, Twitter and Instagram, A Connection TV. I am here to talk to y'all about the latest episode of the challenge. I just watched it, okay? And you know, my energy is gonna be a little low this episode because this episode was like all the other episodes, not really. Ah, this season is like, meh, you know? I'm tired of the Car Maria storyline. I'm tired of not understanding the Car Maria storyline from the actual edit of the episode. I got to see tweets and watch interviews with Adam basically saying that the reason why they didn't like Cam is because of her fans and the fact that she's like this celebrity and she's talking about how good she is and her fans are coming after them or whatever, however he phrased it. And, you know, Paulie retweeted it and was like, is this really what Avery has to deal with in a man? It was a lot going on. It was a lot going on on Twitter. But honestly, like, if that's the reason why, well, Laurel clarifies it because Laurel says in the edit that we find, that we see that she thinks she's better than everyone and the way that she talks uh, to people. I was like, I don't know. I would just, honestly, I would want Cara Maria out because she could possibly beat me. And that would just be the end of the discussion. I wouldn't make it like this whole, oh my God, Cara's this, uh, like, ah, uh, she's horrible on the way. Like, anyways, but I'm like over this storyline and Cam went through all of the, let me not talk about Cam yet. We're going to get through this review. Cam ends up doing the last time on the Young and the Restless intro. And I don't know. I thought Adam's was weird, but Cam's was weirder. 
I'm happy to see, you know, black people in the forefront and, you know, running this thing. And I know some of y'all, oh, here we are about race. I'm black. So I like to see us winning. Right. And so it doesn't happen often. So that's why we know when a lot of people mention their race, it's because they're never in a high or powerful position to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Not regularly speaking. So whenever it happens, it's like fucking Christmas five times a year. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, my God, we have Christmas in May. So this is like Christmas in May. So I was like excited. But just the way that it came about and the way that she got it was a bit like ugh for me. So. I don't know. It was just weird seeing Cam talk. And I just felt bad for Kara. It was all about Kara, Kara, Kara. We need to get Kara out. And of course, they show us and reinforce to us that Cam was talking to Laurel the whole way through to possibly get Kara out. Yeah. Foreshadow much. The episode starts with all of them in the pool. We don't get a walk up like we've gotten before where everybody's like, yay, we won, you won, yay. We don't get that. They're in the pool being old and acting old. Leroy says, oh my God, Flora, you're one of the most genuine people ever. And I'm like, okay, she's going home. Is she going home? Like, what are we doing now? But then again, I'm like, Wesley, there's less people. So they give more opportunity for people to shine, you know, on the episode without them foreshadowing them going home or them winning a challenge. But whatever. This is corny. Them old people in the pool is corny. Cam says she wants a baby girl. Lira is like, nope, I was joking. Cam was like, no, I wasn't joking. I want another child. I mean, Avery are a thing in current time. And so we see them by the pool. And then we get this narration from Avery. She starts crying about her family and her brother. I, to be honest, I like t zoned, tuned out. Like I was like, what is she crying for? Like what's happening? Then it was something about her brother needing help with the tuition because it doesn't cover housing or something. And she wants to win the 250,000, you know, to help her family out. I was like, okay, whatever. Like everybody has a reason for the 250,000. Like, I'm like, whatever. Steve and Cara hang out and Cara's like, Steve is like, oh, I have a target on my back because I hang with Cara. And you know, Cara says something about Nicole, but I'm like, all right, here we go with this storyline again. I, I really didn't care. Nicole's in the room talking junk about Cara because she's talking to Steve and Steve is her friend. I'm like, whatever. Then Nicole comes out and she starts rambling, mumbling, mumbling. Hmm. And then, you know, she's like, oh my God, Cara, just keep your name, keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. Keep my name out your mouth. I don't know how to do her accent. And then Cara's like, Nicole, 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 Nicole tries to like have some snazzy comeback, like, oh my God, Cara, you, you really want me in your throat, don't you? But you got to win to make it happen. I'm like, what is she talking about? Some, some corny. She said some corny. I was like, this is trash. Like, is this all that we have left to this season? Cara ends up back in the house with Ace and Ace is like, oh no, Jay. And Jay is like, I got to win and I can't give you Cam, Cam Star because if I win, I got to give it to a guy or something. Some he said, and then Cara, Cam comes back. What? No, don't take my star. Don't take my star. Cara's like, Cam, I'm not coming after you. I'm not coming after you. I want Nicole. Nicole is so dumb. Flora's like, stop it. Stop talking about her. She's not here, first of all. Stop talking about her. Stop it. You're such a meanie. That's why we want you out of this house. Flora comes on my screen talking about she want Cara out. Cara this, Cara this. She talks about everyone. Cara this, Cara this. I don't like, girl, we ain't seeing nothing that you're talking about, Laurel. We don't know anything about what you're talking about. We have no idea. At this point, all y'all are making this up. The only time that... Carl said something about somebody and it wasn't there when Nicole calling Nicole dumb. But she is dumb. Like, she is. And so is Laurel. Like, both of them are dumb. And they're dumb because they're, like, messing with each other. Like, what? We get another woman's elimination. And I like when they shake things up because these people be expecting to know. Like, they automatically assume, like, what's going to go down. But it's another woman's elimination. And it's a, another woman's elimination because the women are the ones carrying this show, this season. So the producers want the drama with the women. They're trying to get us interested in these episodes. So the producers are doing their job. Yeah. We get to this planking challenge and it was horrible and deplorable to watch. You know, Kara, not Kara, Cam is freaking out. Everybody in the first heat was walking up it like it was a baby, like it was a baby, on, like a baby on a plank. They were walking like a baby on a plank. And Cam DQs because she doesn't want to do it. Car and Ace ends up finishing their heat, and that's all that really matters. Everyone else finishes finishes their heat. The only people that got disqual de DQ'd, disqualified, 
was Cam and Leroy because Cam couldn't do the jump. And she's going to blame her first part of them. She's going to blame being a mom. Well, Avery says because she's a mom or whatever. I'm like, girl, you knew all of this before coming to the challenge. Like, what are we talking about here? You went through all of this trouble to get a star, and now you're just going to lose a star because you don't want to walk a plank? Like, what? But whatever. We can make the decision that we want to make, and that's the decision that she made for herself. Whatever. Laurel and freaking Derek end up winning. Who cares? Who cares? Laurel and Nicole are kissing and talking about the plan, like they're in power. Laurel is in power because she won, but Nicole, like, really? Well, she is in power because she's in the middle group. I don't really like these two together. It's weird and awkward. Like, I, it, I, I was watching this. I was, like, ready to throw up. It was, like, weird. It was just weird. Like, to see people play themselves like that or to see Laurel play herself like that, I don't know. But whatever. Cara is talking to the guys. She doesn't want to go against Cam. Like, Cam is going to be her. I'm sorry, but at no point at all during this season did I think that Killer Cam was in effect. Only, only thing that she did was control the house to put the vote in her favor. But that didn't really take much because you're dealing with these people that aren't used to playing the new age way, which is what Cam is used to playing. So she knows how to politic. I mean, she got the killer Cam because of that. But this whole trying to get the senior citizens to go and vote your way, I mean, it's it was whatever, right? So, but Carl being so, like, afraid to go against Cam, like, I'm not here for it. Carl lets a praying mantis walk all over her. Walk all over her head, over her shirt, everything. Like, why are you scared of Cam? And you got this praying mantis on you. Not that the praying mantis could really do much, but, like, like why are you, like, she's chilling in this prayer. That would have been me. I would have been all, oh, shit. I would have been all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, no bug just sitting there crawl up on me. No. Cam talks to Laurel to secure her place, but we all know how it goes down at these challenges and these shows. You can say whatever you want to say to people. If you didn't come in the game already tied to someone, they don't necessarily owe you anything. And a lot of times, word doesn't mean nothing to these people. And so Cam talking to Laurel, I thought it was cute, but I'm like, is it really gonna work out in Cam's favor? It's not. The nominations go, Cara and Cam vote in. And something telling me that Cam is going home. Like, I felt this, right? And then, of course, Leroy comes on my screen and he's like, something seems off. I feel like something's going to happen. Thanks for the foreshadow. I already pegged it. Cam's going home. We get to the challenge and, yeah, Laurel's already looking like that. To be honest, I'm thinking Laurel doesn't want to get in the water. She's not in the mood to get wet. Maybe she's worried about her pH balance on her JJ. I don't know what's going on, but she's not in the mood to want to get dirty and wet. So ultimately, I think that's why she didn't go in the thing because she was already dressed and like whatever. She wasn't like feeling, you know, she wasn't in the mood to get wet. That's what I really think it was. Do I think that Laurel is afraid of Kara? No, I don't think that. I think she didn't want to get wet. That's why she didn't go on water. And so she was like, Cam, girl, you're getting wet. Not me. I'm not getting wet. I really think that that's what it was. I mean, come on. Laurel's not scared of anyone. So it is what it is. But I just think it's jacked up that you said to everyone that you're going to do something and you don't do it. And you've been working with Cam all along to, like, get the star away from Kara. But now you're like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of like, oh, that's just jacked up. It's just jacked up. And I wonder how Leroy is going to be to Laurel. But, you know, Leroy's a guy, and he's very traditional, so I don't foresee him, you know, saying much to Laurel. And I don't even think that Leroy is really, like, in a power position, especially now that Cam's here. No shade, because Cam was a leader in that group, but whatever. Cam has the ability to go and win. She is winning, but she didn't get the balls all the way like Kara did. So she ends up losing. She ends up going home. And for whatever reason... Leroy is not like yelling at her that the ball is behind her. So she ends up going home. Leroy immediately runs down to give his baby a kiss and a smooch. I just knew Leroy was going to cry, but he doesn't. In all honesty, I really love Car Cam and Leroy's relationship. The love that they have for each other. I love you, babe. I love you too, babe. I love you, babe. Get this money, babe. I love you, babe. Even in the post-confessional. I love you, babe. You got this, babe. You're amazing, babe. You're awesome, babe. It's okay. Even when Cam de defaulted and disqualified themselves. Babe, I'm not going to force you to go. If you don't want to go, it's fine, babe. I love you. All of that is amazing. All of that is like, oh, I, wa I want that. You know, not really, but that, you know, the thought of having something like that potentially is hot. So I'm like, oh, I love that for them. They're amazing. Kara gets Cam's star, 
and Kara still in the game. Laurel's a punk. She's dumb. Whatever. But Laurel, it just, what, what it solidifies is that Laurel only cares about herself. She doesn't care about anyone at all. And she can say whatever she wants to say to you, and she can go against her word. That in and of itself already makes her a horrible human being, game-wise. And I'm not, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. If I tell someone that I'm going to do something and that it is what it is, then I'm definitely going to do that. Your word needs to mean something in the challenge. And Laurel is just a punk for how she handled that. But anyways, leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought. I'm Wesley. Two says, oh, by the way, um, yeah, I need your help. If you are able to like, you know, help a brother out with, you know, switching platforms to a better platform to run this indie company platform, this like indie Netflix, that would be amazing. I have a GoFundMe right now. We've already raised over $600 for the GoFundMe. If you have it in your heart, if you have it in your heart to support, that would be like so amazing because I, I really need your help. Like that would be so awesome. So if you can donate, go to GoFundMe.com forward slash ACTV Plus to donate any amount of money that you donate would be amazing. $25, $30, $40. Everyone so far has donated like a hundred bucks. So that would be amazing. But oh my God, it would be like so killer if you could help us out because doing YouTube, um, doing my company, like the online streaming platform, all this stuff, it doesn't really bring in enough to really solidify and make things work. And I'm trying to really work hard to getting you guys some like good content, like, you know, good scripted content. And I want to go into the reality TV space as well, but you need the funds to do so. So yeah, it would be amazing if you guys can help out and, you know, donate to the GoFundMe. Love you guys. Deuces.